Hello, I'm now going to go through some of the units we use with binary and there are two systems, metric and binary. So we're going to go through the difference between those as well. Starting with a really, really simple, super small units. So one binary digit is called a bit. So one bit is one, zero or one. In binary, we only have got zeros and ones. And so one of these is a bit, short for binary digit. Shorthand is a lowercase b. The next unit up is a nibble. One nibble is four bits. And there isn't a shorthand for nibble. There isn't a lowercase n. There is no shorthand unit. Nibbles are only really used because, as we look at, you can convert nibbles really easily to hexadecimal. Now, the next proper one, I suppose, is a byte. Make sure the spelling is B-Y-T-E, not B-I-T-E, as nibble and byte might suggest. So one byte with a capital B as its shorthand is eight bits or two nibbles. So eight bits is one byte. You can see why um, nibble is used, a nibble being a, a small byte, I suppose. Now, just in terms of conversions you might see, well, for example, two bytes, you know it's a byte because it's got a capital B, is the same as 16 bits. Two times eight is 16. And going other way around, if you were, say, asked to convert 48 bits to bytes, you would just need to divide by eight. And so that gives you six bytes, which is equivalent to 48 bits. So these are quite straightforward, multiplying and dividing by either four or eight. Just one thing on how I wrote out this byte here. Often we leave a space between nibbles, again, because of this conversion to hexadecimal, which will get covered in the next video. Now, clearly, these are not really enough numbers for us to do much. We can have fairly small numbers with a byte up to 255. But anything bigger, we need to have more binary data. And so bigger units are needed. And the first system to do this is using metric prefixes. So we recognize these prefixes from science. The first one is a is kilo. So kilo, shorthand K, either uppercase or lowercase. And you would have had kilo in places like distance. So a kilometer is a thousand meters. And the word kilo is a prefix meaning a thousand. So thousand is the same as 10 to the power three. Then we go up to mega. So mega capital M is a million. And you'll notice how we, as we go over these units, each one is a thousand times a previous one. So one megabyte is a thousand kilobytes. So that's how this sequence progresses. So therefore giga, one gigabyte is a thousand megabytes. And so as we are doing a thousand times a thousand each time, we are now going up to a billion. So a giga is a billion. And then terra is the next one. So terra is a trillion, which is 10 to the power 12. And peta is a quadrillion, which is 10 to the power 15. These powers are adding three each time because we are timesing by a thousand each time. A thousand is 10 to the power three. Now we are doing it in terms of 10 because that's just how metric is based on. Metric is based on powers of 10. Now these prefixes are used in other areas of life like science, but in computer science and IT, we can use them to combine with our binary basic units. So for instance, two kilo bits is 2000 bits because we're doing two times a thousand. That's what kilo stands for. Be careful that B is lowercase. Always be watching out for capital B, lowercase b. Lowercase b is bit, uppercase b is byte. Another example, 2.5 terabytes would be 2500 gigabytes because a tera is a thousand times a gigabyte. So really what you should learn is the sequence kilo, mega, giga, tera, peta. You should learn that each one is a thousand times the previous one. Learning the powers is quite useful, um, but generally that sequence is really important. Okay, so a typical hard drive will be maybe one or two terabytes nowadays. A data center might be a petabyte, like a big, big group of servers. A movie might be a couple of gigabytes. A photo is a couple of megabytes. A super simple document might be quite a few kilobytes. That's the sort of scale we are looking at. Now there is a slight problem because these units are designed for decimal. We've got 10 as our 
base in these powers but actually we've got two when it's binary so these don't quite work it does present a couple of issues so there is an alternative system using what we call binary prefixes now these have been around for a while they haven't really ever caught on partly because their names are a bit silly to be quite honest I'm not a huge fan of their names so Kibi is a binary alternative to Kilo so Kibi KI is the shorthand is 1024 not 1000 Mebi MI is 1,048,576 so not quite as um, neat as a million um, and these units instead of going up by a times by a thousand they times by 1024 each time so the numbers do get a bit awkward we have got binary equivalents of each of our metric equivalent uh, our metric units so the next one is Gibby Tebby Pebby each one again timesing the previous one by 1024 so the numbers are really ugly and don't seem like they're following a pattern when you first look at it but in terms of powers it's adding a power of 10 each time but crucially we've got two now instead of ten and so these fit much better with binary because in storage devices storage devices are not storing stuff in decimal they're storing stuff in binary powers of two and so to use a binary prefix often means you're going to be more accurate part of the issue was in early storage devices the designers saw or well, they've got a thousand twenty four that's similar to a thousand and so they round down so it just led to some inaccuracies because it wasn't quite matching the actual capacity now that inaccuracy gets worse over time because you start to get really quite far from the metric equivalent so these binary units are more precise like I said they haven't totally caught on partly because I think the names are just a bit silly but um, they are more accurate so again learn the sequence the names are very similar and learn that each one is 1024 times the previous one.